All right. Let me just just let just let me know when if it if the quality dips and we'll we'll fix it if we need to. Oh god. You're gonna see me how I aim with Joker Queen, I feel like. I don't know why I only do with Joker Queen. so far you're not you're not like tunneling visioning on the queen tunnel visioning on the queen like you saw mm -hmm. the tracer was low you can go through the tracer which is a good um and obviously your knives could be a little bit yeah more accurate but yeah. I mean, that's just that's will come with time job here you guys have it I guess the one to the left. Yeah. Is that one that close? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We get the other one too. We get the close one. So, right here, right. Where we have we have a little bit of an advantage when we're running the somber, and because we have point. Where we, yeah. they're kind of walking in to like our domain, right? So yeah. they have to walk into like this area right here, which is like super prime kill box area. Like, you know what a kill box is? Uh, I mean, I can reason it out, but not okay, exactly so like, probably. It, a kill box is like an area of the map where you want to set up some sort of like pinch or dive or rush. Okay. Right? Usually for dive, where like, you want you set up some place. Okay, when they on defense, you like all right. This is where the kill box is, and then when they walk into that area, that's where you dive. So like you can say something like, like this is a good area to kind of push them if they go this way because mm -hmm. there's so many of these kind of walkways for you to have to pinch with your team. Yeah, where you can kind of push them in this area and kill them. So one thing is that like this is on John, but this is also on you to kind of set him up, like talk to him with about it. Okay. Like, he should be waiting, like, right here to hack someone and go in. Like, as mm. soon as they go to get to here, right? Like, maybe, like, this cylinder. Yeah. You're shouting in, and you're going in on their team. Like, they're running. You guys have Sombra Junkrat, so you have more of, like, burst yeah. potential. And they're playing, like, a Tracer Genji, so they want to kind of... They, wanna, they want them to give you... Sp they, wanna give, they want you to give them space. So Tracer and Genji can set up off angles, like, on the right or left. And you can should I be playing by that pillar? Um, you could, you could. Okay. You could. Um, I think playing like right here would be fine, like right in the stairs, mm -hmm. because um, if you play too far up, it's it might not give an Sombra enough room to get a hack off. Yeah. She's a little bit of space in between, so they can't turn around and, ha and kill and uh, shoot her and disrupt it. So like okay. you can start like you can start like here, right? And Junk's behind you, so Junkrat's behind you, so is. Um, Bap and Lucio, they're right here. Yeah. Sombra's hanging out over here or maybe up there. And as soon as they get in this area, you call, he calls, like, he's saying, I'm hacking this person. You're shouting it immediately and you're on that person. Like, okay. as soon as he says, I'm hacking, and even if he doesn't get the hack off, you just go in. Like, you just go in on that person. That's the person you're on. Because the pro yeah. the Junk Queen has to get value immediately or mid fight, it's going to be hard for you to get value in, in like, mid fight once you use all your abilities. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see what happens here. 
So you're kind of playing back on point. You're giving them a lot of space. You're get, you're, their tracer is in a really bad spot. She should be up here peppering your bap. Like she would, mm -hmm. a good tracer would be already right here peppering your bap and making her turn at you, giving them more space to walk in. Um, they don't do that. Fuck up here. So now John's in a position to hack, right? Yeah. But your guys aren't positioned to capitalize right away. Who's won? Oh, wow. He should have died. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he hacks Lucio, right? But, like, nobody's looking at the Lucio. So clearly he's not calling. I'm hacking on a hack Lucio. Yeah. Um, or no one's listening. And even if he did hack Lucio, you want to kill them in that two-second window. It ha he has to die in that two-second window before the abilities get back. So you guys are not in a position to kill them. So you have yeah. to call you, you, you're, you are calling to shout in. Like, you, got, you have to work together with him to call the hack target and go in and shout on them and kill them. Mm -hmm. Now you go in. It's a good ult. Uh, you know, still don't get any kills out of it. You know, I focus the same target. If we play this out, come more seconds again. You're walking. You're kind of behind them. I don't know how that mm -hmm. happened. Yeah, well, I, sh I, I rampaged in, yeah, and, and then they both, started both to go D towards both site. Both DPS are fo focusing somebody else. You're focusing the queen. Bap dies because of that. That that bap die. Our bap dies because of the lack of focus on the target. Because the mm -hmm. fight is way longer than it should. So one thing that I can give you one advice tip of advice. So you're the main tank, right? You're the tank. You're yeah. you are John of the shot callers. If you're if John is supposed to call somebody, he's not calling someone. Or if people are calling others, like you won't people won't get upset with you. Like, this is what I do all the time. I used to do this all the time. My old team, RJ knows this. If people are calling other things and we're not call listening to me, I'm going to say, listen up, guys. We're not listening to me. Listen to what I'm saying. Just, like, demand that respect because you are the shot caller. You mm -hmm. are the person that calls targets. If someone is getting, is, over, is like, is um, talking over you when you're trying to do things, you just be like, guys, come on, focus up. Listen to what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Just kind of ch give the check them with that because eventually they will listen, right? But if you're kind of letting them do that, it'll keep kind of spiraling where people are saying, this person's won, this person's won, and this, or I'm on this person, I'm on this person. And you're calling someone, but they're not necessarily listening to you because it's not that they don't respect you. It's that you haven't kind of, you have to kind of tell them that this is, this is, you have, they have to listen to you. You know what I mean? They know I, who daddy is. Yeah, they have to, look, literally, it's a funny way of saying it, but they have to know who daddy is. Like, that's it. <laughs> you are the shot caller here. Like, RJ can agree on that. Like, it's either you or John, and if it's not John, it's you. So you have to you have to take that kind of demand that respect from them. And if you if you notice in a fight that people aren't dying quick, it means they're not focusing the same target. So after that fight, you say, "Guys, I need more target focus from you on my targets. Please listen mm -hmm. up." You know what I mean? And they'll say, "Okay." They won't be mad at you. They'll just say, "Okay." Later. <laughs> Bye. This is again where I should be playing up and shouting here to go engage. Well, I guess we're all playing. Especially since you're calling that. If you're so, if you're calling for a, he does a really, this guy does a really good job at hiding for it. But if you're calling for a EMP, you don't have to wait for the EMP to go off to get aggressive. Like mm -hmm. you don't have to wait. You don't have to sit there and wait. Like if we're calling EMP, right? Uh, where is John? He's he's in position about now. Go now, like right now. Just go. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Go right now because because the EMP, the no abilities thing, only lasts two seconds. So what if you get out, maybe you get out Suzu early and then you EMP and now she doesn't have Suzu and you have this this um, this um damage buff on them, right? Yeah. So, like, if you're calling for EMP, I'm saying, okay, I'm playing up here, like you talked about, you did a good job of noticing that just now. All right, I'm playing up. Go in immediately, or maybe I'm going to ask Genji, just shout in, go after their, their, their DPS or their supports, and just kill them. And, and, and then EMP, she's not going to be ready for it. She's not going to be ready for the EMP when you're, or you're, when you're fighting them. So you can easily kill someone early. So don't kind of wait for that combo. Like, you know, I always talk about, you guys did a lot on Mintown as well, look at it later, where you use ultimates reactively rather than proactively. That, you do yeah. that a lot in these fights. 
where you kind of wait for them to take the space or wait for the Joker Queen to go in before you counter push in, you have the mechanical ability and you have the game sense to do to kind of get that advantage on them. Like, don't give them an advantage. Always play um, on your own terms. <laughs> do you guys get eat B off and you use, you use both DPS ults and you get no kills out of it, or one? Yeah. Well, she fell off the map. <laughs> okay, then you got no kills out of it then. Yeah. And it's because it's because no one was people might have, people might have known that he was going for BMP, but people you weren't ready to deal with it. It's just you have to kind of focus up, like focus yeah. on that and, and get ready to go in. And also, there's no reason for Duke to tire there. Just go, just walk in with them. You know? mm -hmm. Like you get EMP off, that's already 40% of their health pool. No reason to try to get the kill off of that. Just kind of use your spam. 30% right. now, but First yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> not shouting. You should, you should have shouted. Yeah. You're gonna be shouting. Here. Way too late of a shout. How that kind of affects the fight here. So they have two here. They have two ultimates. You have zero. So you're gonna have to do a little fight here. Hey, rush. Um. John's kind of doing his own thing here. I don't know why we're on Moira. That's a weird swap. Um, yeah. Dude is a little bit far hard behind you. I'd like to see, like, do they just not walk in? Yeah, so we just need to walk in. So, so, I would say you're, the thing you're doing wrong here is you didn't shout, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I shout. totally, like, it, I like, think I'm going for too long of, like, a prolonged fight yeah, by yeah, holding yeah, shout. Yeah, yeah, and if, like, just a word of, like, advice, every time they use this, it just you shout in response. Just okay. try to get that uptime for a second to kept give you some, some, uh, and it maybe kind of even out the odds a little bit, but your team should be going in with you. Like Lucio should be speeding in. Um, Moira should be on Kiriko or Bap and be walking in with you. Junkrat should be walking in with you. Um, you should all be focusing the same target. Um, John should not be like wandering around invisible. Like we should be fighting the same target, all looking the same thing. So it's just kind of a lot of nothing happening by, from four of the five people here. Kind of, I mean, your player is still alive, no? No, she's not. But kind of just get out, out. I take care of my friend. They had ults, but at the same time, they kind of just used their abilities way more. Yeah. More actively than you did. Say they say they wanted to take a fight before the point over there. You wouldn't have shout. That's so yeah, that's fair. A little late on the switch from the targets. Mm. Off of the supports, it shouldn't happen like that. But I mean, you did do it. You know what I mean? So that's that's. Yeah. It's chase down. Later. Uh -oh. Later. Uh -oh. Later. So 
Why aren't you pulling him in? Um, well, I wanted to see if I could maybe try and get him, misposition him, and I feel like whenever, as long as I have it in, he can't really go in, because I can reach yeah, yeah, yeah. like, guaranteed. And it also pulls the cooldown, it doesn't go any faster if I don't. It's like a rest of the fight, it's just constant 6 seconds, and it clicks down at the time, so. So, there's, can you, can you identify the thing that you're doing wrong in this fight? Uh, I think I'm going for way too much of a poke. Possibly, uh, but there's one right there. Focusing down the uh, Joker Queen. Yes. Yeah. So if you notice, if you go back 10 seconds to just look at the other team while you're focusing the Joker Queen, see this that Kiriko is just kind of pumping her with heals. And you can't kill her. You cannot kill her. You cannot yeah. kill her. Unless she's anti, you cannot kill her. So, like we talked about here, like what can we do instead in this fight? Before they walk in here, we have point! We're here first. We have point. So, this area looks like something that we talked about before. Right? This kind of Yeah, it's kind of a kill area. Yeah, There's th right two here. different gate, right two different areas you can enter. This is a perfect enter, yeah. area to have, you know, Junkrat behind you, Somber come behind, you pinch them, and kill them here. Because they have Sojourn, right? So you can't get you you have to like pitch her. You can't you can't run quickly at her from the front because she's gonna slide away. But if John comes behind and hacks her, then she can't slide away. She can't she can't slide away from anybody. You go in, you kill her. Yeah. You get Suzu out, whatever. You have then you have Tyre. But you guys are playing yeah, you guys are playing way too pokey. And you're running Junkrat, which is a poke character, but use it aggressively. You know, you guys are clearly Junkrat, mm -hmm. a Junkrat team. Use that aggressively. This you know, walk past this now. Junk Queen. I don't know what she's doing. Just walk past her, go into Sojourn. Her Sojourn just killed somebody. Did he just... <laughs> we gotta kill the mines as well. Sick ultimate here from him. <laughs> <laughs> Let him cook. But you guys win that fight. Um... You, clearly because you guys are better, right? Yeah, yeah. But what what kind of play did you make to, to win that fight other than die with your tire up in their back line? That's the only play you made. Yeah. Yes, a suicide bombed. Yeah. <laughs> got one. That, he was, that was kind of lucky that you got somebody. Yeah. All right, next one is this one? Uh, yeah. Okay, they're here first. So they're here first. Okay, so now they have they have this area. So they have this area on lockdown. How do we want to approach this fight? Well, we have Sombra. We have EMP. Where like there's a few times areas here where we can get a kill box set up. Right here looks pretty good. It'd be on point, right? People behind yeah. on point get them yeah. on point and send our Sombra. I think they're looking like they're pushing up uh, first. So it's probably going to be that more forward one. Yeah, they're right here. Easy, easy EMP on three people right now. Easy. Um, you EMP, you walk past the Joker Queen, and you axe the Kiriko or the Sojourn. Yeah. So that's how you want to play this here. It looks like John is ready for EMP. Let's see how he uses it. Hey, it Did you use Suzu? Did you use Suzu? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we go on the on point. Get a kill. Uh, one thing I will say is that you're uh, you are at a significant disadvantage playing Moira, Sig like like significant, like mm -hmm. like way more than you could ever imagine playing Moira. Moira is so horrible at everything that it's yeah, like. Well, I did ask during this. I'm like, I don't know. I really wish we stayed BAP because yeah. she BAP went from or BAP Kiriko or something like yeah. that. Like BAP Kiriko. She went BAP to Life Weaver to now Moira, and I think I think it's just like. She feels a lot more comfortable on Moira in this comp, just because I, I just feel run like... Kiriko. I think you should run Kiriko. Yeah. Just play That's Kiriko. Fair. You have Suzu for all this stuff that they have. Um, Moira brings legitimately zero utility, like nothing. She doesn't have a single thing of utility. Mm -hmm. she, the only thing that she brings is she can maybe kill someone with her ult, like maybe. Yeah. Her damage is insignificant in this fight.
So you guys get the first pick, but you lose. Because you used that utility at the beginning, but you don't have any mid-fight utility to deal with theirs. Yeah. Like, you have... You have that... You have Shout for first beginning of fight. You have Mines for Hack, beginning of fight. Moira Orb for beginning of fight, kind of. Speed for beginning mm -hmm. of fight. Now you have no mid-fight utility. They have Suzu. They have Soldier Nade. They have... No, their queen abilities when they get them back. Obviously, you have yours, but they just have more overall utility. Is the stream okay so far? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we get the pick first pick again. First pick again. What are we doing? Okay, we lose to. I would say the target choice from you here is a little suspect. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't throw yourself away from the middle of the fight to go for this guy. Um, I, what I would do, right, is if you're working together with your team, you can call to just say there's a Genji on right, and John will hear that, maybe hack him and go for him, what we want him, something like that. Mm -hmm. But I would not, th I would, you do this on Sigma a lot too, is you kind of throw yourself away from the fight, away from yeah. the middle of the fight, and you, you leave your team very exposed. Um, like, Dude is is just dead here. Also, Moira can't do anything to help him because it's Moira. You guys are split. Take point. Yes, so, so what I'm seeing in a lot of these fights is that the back line is going for different targets than you are. And that's either in sort of response to them diving them, or like just like a lack of communication or lack of listening. But like we just need to, we're playing a rush comp. There shouldn't be any dives into the back line. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. th there shouldn't be a, a moment where Genji is diving your back line because there is no sort of instance when you're playing slow to where he can do that. You're playing a jerk. That in that place just plays sick. Time for the reckoning. I like this aggression. I mean Moira can't do anything to help you. Your ultimate. I like the yeah, I like the aggression. I think you guys are good here with this aggression. Now get out now. Get the cure. Just get out now. Their spawn's right there. Okay. Nice to get out. We call for aggression. Uh, I, if this was you, your call to sit here, that was a good call as well. Yeah. Yeah. They can't contest. There's no way they can test. I, I think they do. Oh wow, that was a last second. Eat. He got another fucking kill and they got you yeah, with the bomb. Dude, <laughs> so like like I said, you guys are experiencing a lot of these like mid-fight deaths because of the lack of of support utility. Mm -hmm. Um You guys are doing a lot of great things in the mid-fight. You get the, you get the first pick almost every fight. Like almost every fight you're getting the first pick. You have a you yeah. are doing a great job, even though you're not playing proactively. You're getting a gr you're doing a great job at kind of capitalizing on their mistakes and getting these early picks. But once the once the fight develops and you go in with rush, there's nothing for your your sports can't do anything to help you because it's just Lucio or heals and more piss. Like more can't more pissing on mm -hmm. people is not going to do anything in the fight. But we've gone over that a few times when he beat a dead horse here. Yeah. Later. <laughs> This, is this middle one. This one, I'm pretty sure you guys. We got lucky. Yeah, you guys have horrible target focus on this one, if I remember. Yeah, they just all everything in. They get one, and then we win the fight somehow. Did they use worlds, and yeah, they use worlds, and you guys won. They killed no yeah. people with that. So like, even though John hacked that, and we called it out. Shit, was that still worth it to even go on even if she's wouldn't hacked? Even hack wouldn't even hack her. Okay. Like, the problem is, is that w watch what happens when she gets hacked. So you're playing Sombra, right? So, so hack is your main sort of engagement tool. 
So, when she gets hacked... They use Rush. They, they use literally three alts in tandem to keep her alive. Like, they use both support alts to keep her alive. And they use... Which is a, a good trade. But... I wouldn't be playing for that. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be playing mm -hmm. for them to, to use both support alts when you hack her. Because that's not gonna happen. Meow. She's yeah. just gonna... She's just going to get Suzu'd. And then that's it. Like, the hack is gone, and you wasted your engage, and now they walk in, and they kill you. Mm -hmm. Instead, I would say, you have what we talked about here. This looks amazing. This looks like what? What does this look like when before they come in here? A kill box. Ooh, very nice. John's, <laughs> up, John's up here. You're right here. You have your support, your DPS in a solid position. Your other DPS, your... your uh, your pisser and your junkrat in a solid position. I honestly junkrat could probably, probably be up here too. Right, right on top of you. Mm -hmm. Like Junker Queen walks in, whatever. She walks in, who cares? Nobody nobody's gonna nobody's gonna die. Junker Queen. Everyone's back there and up here and up here and right here. Nobody's gonna die to this Junker Queen. Yeah. But when your team when their team walks in, now we have this little like fucking gangbang on their back line mm -hmm. by your by all your teammates. So like that can be on you to say, let's play for them for like a kill box right here. We can go over that as a team at one point so they understand that concept as well. Yeah. Um, and let's play for a kill box right here. Perfect, because they're walking in this way. Um, if they go top, maybe we say, let's force them down onto point and we kill boxes right here, right? Or, or say we, may, maybe this way. They, I don't think anyone would go this way. It's either this way or this way. Yeah, yeah. Um, either way, you can wear out them from this back line and just kind of pinch them from right here and they die. There's, there's nothing they can do, but they can rush, whatever, they can beat, but because you have all these angles on them, overall, I believe you will win this fight, because of the, st the, the angles that you have. So much value from that right there. Suzy would have been sick. Uh, so Duke dies here. They use three ultimates to get one kill. All looking at you, and none of your no one is dying. This interesting. Time for the reckoning. You guys aren't focusing the same target. Stop pooping him up in the air like this. I think Junker does it too. Stop pooping him in the air. Just fucking kill him. <laughs> you got pooped in the air like three times. All right, so we know what happened there. They, yeah, they get a toss. Focus. Yeah, we did. No. So, so, so this is for John as well. Um, so let's look at what happens when we get into this fight. Like, look what John's doing right now. Just a whole lot of nothing. A whole mm -hmm. lot of doing well, nothing. I mean, could that be because we're waiting for them to go huh? into the kill box? Well, or is, should well, he be? He can, he can just be up here poking. Like you, there is the, the Sombra has changed to where you're not sitting in invis for this long anymore. Mm -hmm. You are poking. You are getting value off of your virus. Um, he can be uninvisible right here, just poking. I know he has EMP, but whatever. More damage. They walk in, they get EMP'd. So, or he could be scouting. So before the fight. He could be behind, like, as soon as the fight ends, um, he can walk um, behind them like this and kind of wait and just kind of scout what they're doing, right? And now the kill box can be, maybe even, maybe because of that, it could be right here. Maybe the kill box can be right here. Be mm -hmm. scouting. Or maybe it can be a little bit further if you want to play a little bit more safer. But either way, he should be, he should be either scouting or poking instead of just standing and doing nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There, there, there's always something you can be doing. <coughs> Excuse me. He's also just not in a position to EMP them. Like, they should be EMP now. Like, EMP five seconds ago. Why are we giving them all the space? Mm -hmm. 
he's still st- like like legitimately your team is getting run on right now and he's still standing here invisible. Ran on, not run on. <laughs> he dies. Now he goes out after one person dies. Else is shooting the person you're shooting. Not a single other person is shooting this person right now. Not a single person. Okay, there we go. Lucio was. Yeah. Like, I will say, these guys are bad. What if they weren't? You know what I mean? They're focusing Genji, you're focusing Queen. You should be able to get you with them, that's probably on you. Um, just know that once once the mid fight begins, right, and Queen has no abilities, she's basically like useless for the next six seconds until until she gets her abilities back. Yeah. Um so that's the time where you can go on these back lines. So overall, pretty good, obviously. There are some moments where you kind of go away from the team, focusing the wrong different targets. Yeah, um, yeah. But that's you know, whatever it happens. If you're gonna run this somber cop, which seems like you guys like this, you yeah. have to be in communication with John at all times about this stuff. Um, before the round even starts, I would say don't run Jerk Queen on this map. Yeah, I thought I this, I kind of like it. This for was like a fun one. little thing, but like like a, like a little cheeky little thing here where you're like doing this like fun combo. But mm -hmm. as soon as they see that you're here, they just rotate. Watch. Yeah. They just rotate. They're like, okay, they're playing Jerk Queen. Just play and that poke. one person stays in just train. Play poke. Yeah, this, and this idiot just plays by himself. Wow, interesting. You got the first pick of the fight. We don't see that a lot. Yeah, you feed very much here. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Once, I do so feel like, that. think of like this is like a threshold. Like once they get out of here, okay, now they're now you can't focus them anymore mm -hmm. because you're not. It's not because they have some sort of advantage. It's because you're just push, you're just pushing yourself too far away from your team. Yeah, I totally into. So I like this uh, at this time you could probably go in the sig here. This is when you go in the tank. He's by himself. There's nobody else with him. He probably is down on ability. Go on him here. He already rocked. He rocked you. So you go in and Sigma here. You continue to stay in there. Way past your welcome. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you give them time to regroup. You have Shout here. This would be very upsetting if you had Shout. Oh. Yeah. Like, shout right now. And you don't have to push in. Like, what you can do is you can shout. So you can shout, right? And you can stay here and just poke them and just prod them with your axe and stuff and stop Sigma from coming in. Your team gets the value from shout as well. And mm -hmm. they're, like, suppressed by it, and it just buys more time. And then they yeah, have to you shout in. a it lot of the time is just, like, a survivability tool. You don't want and to do I, that. I gotta That's, stop doing that. That is the worst way to play Joker Queen. That's how you die. Is mm -hmm. using it survivable because you're using it as a reaction to their abilities to save yourself. So that's not how you want to get aggressive with it because it doesn't give you much health. It gives you like 100 health. Yeah, 150, yeah. Or whatever, how much ever. Right now would have been great. Right now. Don't focus Sigma right here. I know he's feeding, but he has a Baptiste shooting him. Yeah. So then your whole team dies. You had full control here. They didn't do anything special. They didn't wall you. They didn't walk. They didn't use ultimates. They didn't whatever. They just walked in. And we didn't do anything reactively to kill them.
here. This would have been the time to switch off. Drop this ultimate. That's a good ultimate. Yeah, it's a five mana. It's huge as fuck. focusing the same target. Now you are there. You were there. Now you aren't. And then I now you do the again. same play where I keep going way too deep over there. I think I learned though, because I'm like, I should. And then I immediately swap off. I I, I feel like Queen could be playable this first point. I, I not Definitely not second point. I think, I think you can we, run it. So, like, this. so what we talked about before, how you kind of hide. Like, this is what, this is what the, it would have to be perfect, this kind of thing. So, you're playing this junk, right? We can go overhead. So, they're playing whatever. They're playing up here. Mm -hmm. So, the first thing you want to do is. You play, you go through this little area right here, right? But wait here. So wait here. Don't show yeah. yourself yet. That gives Sombra time to go up here, into here, and scout where they are, who they are, and what they're doing. So say they're playing like a, a Sigma comp up here. Okay, great. Now you can go up here. But maybe they're playing farther back, and you're not going to get any value from going up here. That, then you wait for the Sombra to say that. Junkrat's right here. And then as soon as you say that, Sombra goes for the hack, you shout and walk up the stairs, Junkrat goes this way, you pinch them from here. Mm. You want to run that. That's how you play it. You did, a, you did something where you were kind of showing yourself a lot. You walked out before the, they were ready, like this, Yeah. and they saw you, and then they rotated. So if you wait here, just wait here, they can't see you, they don't know what you're playing. Mm -hmm. And then so, Sean's like, alright, I'm ready. Alright, three, two, one, shout, walk up. Junkrat's over. You kill someone. Yeah. That's how it works. Clear out. Swap the Sigma. I would swap the DPS at some point. It's hard to get value in this. They have such range. Yeah. I think we swap up Junkrat, but we stay on Sombra. So here you got you can play. So what they're doing is they're you don't have to immediately jump up here. Um, they have poke right, but you have some poke as well. You have junk rat. So play cart for now, right? Play back here for cart progress. Play at the police station. Play at the police car. Let cart push up. Let them stay up here, right? They'll be up here because you they he dropped because you went up. Mm -hmm. Play cart. Your, your supports are pushing cart. You have shield right here for them. They don't. They either drop to contest cart, or you just get free cart progress, and then you leave mm -hmm. Sombra on cart and go up here. And this whole time you're getting cart progress while you guys are fighting. You're ready to five v four, but at the same time, five v four is it? This is yeah. yeah. Also, I would. This is a really bad window from Jaden. I am not a fan of using windows solo for Baptiste. Um, and all this time, no one's pushing cart. Yeah, and I focus sick here. And I just... So you guys, yeah, you guys make this mistake. And you, I think you make this mistake as well. Let's see. What's the reason to drop? Uh, try and get staggers is probably what I was thinking. Uh, because they six so yes, weak. Yes, but they staggers, but staggers would be if they're running away and they have two people left. But they have four people. Yeah, yeah. So this is not an area. It's, this is not an opportunity to stagger. What I would say is that you can get so much value right here by look at this Sigma's positioning. He drops here and goes into here. You play high ground. You shield high ground. Shield right here. Play high ground. He's stuck over here, mm. and now you just poke their back line. They have no shield, so now you just poke their back line while Somber pushes cart and Sig stuck. Either Bat pushes up and gets into your range, you poke him out, or you just continue to poke out Sig from, because your things bounce off walls, just poke him out from here and kill him. Mm -hmm. But you, you get way too greedy for this kill, and he has healing, so he gets the healing. He gets the lamp. And now everyone drops and everyone gives up high ground, and we all leave. And now they humbly retake high ground. Yeah. Yeah, and then we get some retake. Now we, 
we won that fight, but now we just have to retake it all over again. For no reason. And now we have like three people pushing cart right now. And also, I, I, I just would recommend not playing Sombra here and just playing double, like, double poke and just yeah. fighting up here and pushing the cart once you win. You know what I mean? Because right now, the Sombra just is... You're playing Sombra, so push cart. But in a, in a regular scenario, you should not be playing Sombra. You're just playing, like, Hanzo or something. Or Soldier. And just kind of poking them. Hello. They have way more poke than you because Junkrat has shield break, but he's going to be setting his time breaking the shield while you have a Mei... That's walking up on you. Killing. Oh. Hello. Yeah, so you just you hold this EMP for way too long. Fide by to you. This is the best this is we talked about. This is a great play. Yeah. This was a perfect play. Probably your best, one of your best plays all, all script. And someone's on cart. Yeah. Do you take the second point? Uh, yeah, yeah. They ended up CNIing the third point, too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Here we walk it like. Yeah, I mean, when Summer's on cart, things way. happen. Yeah. Okay, so one thing that you could do here is. Oh, yeah, and then I rock the sig off so he can't yes. contest. So one thing that you should be doing here. Is that, um, so so I'll I'll ask I'll, I'll ask you a question and you try to give me an answer. What does this thing mean to the enemy team? This little lip here. Uh, like a safe zone. Yeah, definitely. It's it's cover for them. So what happens if you don't walk past it? Uh, then they have free uh space. They have free cover and free space. But what happens if you walk past it? Uh, now I have the ability to have free cover and so, free space. Yep, perfect. So if I play right here as Sigma, shield right here, now I am denying them this cover and giving it to my team simply because of the, the position that I'm standing in right now. It has nothing to do with any sort of mechanical skill. I'm just standing right here and denying them this natural cover. And you're poking them, you're poking them, you're poking them, you're poking them. Baptiste could be behind you charging charging window. Then you can window from right here. I know this is, looks like a fucking jumbled mess. But you can like window <laughs> no, you can window from right here and just poke them from out here and they just can't touch. They, they won't be able to touch. Then they just then they just they don't see nine, they just don't touch. Yeah. But what happens is you get the C9 off, but you give them yeah. this cover and then the Sigma walks past it and then now he has cover for their team. Yeah. Now it's I just got the free. rock now, off. Now, That's yeah, now all these people can just walk up. No, nothing, like, no, no, they'd see nine, but that was completely random. Avoidable, yeah. yeah avoidable and random. I think I overextended Lucio on cart. here. I'd say Lucio on cart at this point. Um, great hack. All this and we're not pushing cart. Not pushing card. Still not pushing card. It was like 15 seconds of not pushing card. Cart would be probably here to now. I was kind of focusing more on do at that last second here. Let's see what you do. Uh, I think I just back up to play down the their window. Yeah, and then I W after we get that fat tire. I will say, in this scenario here, like, if, like you did a good job. You have this area to kite. Right here? But what if you didn't, right? Yeah. What if, what if you didn't have that area to kite? They window uh, so far uh, up in front of you that you just walk, walk right forward. past it. 
Yeah. Just and and, and plus, look who's beat window through it. Like the sojourn's dying here. So once she dies, I think it's fine kite right here. Because if they have five people alive, walk now. Just walk right past it. Yeah, I think that's exactly the right idea. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, you walk right past it. But in a regular scenario like that, you can 100% just walk right past it. Just shield. Mm -hmm. Even though they have May? Yeah, just just call the okay. team to walk past it. The whole team walks past it. The whole team gets walled, whatever. Just keep walking in. You Where should I play here? Here, I would recommend that you play... I think this is a fine spot. I would probably play... Um, either this corner right here. I wouldn't take a wide swing. So you're definitely playing in a in a safer position, which I like. I wouldn't take a wide swing and play right here. I'd probably play at this corner. Okay. And and you can have Sean already has control of this area, right? So you don't have to necessarily poke out people going this way because John already is over here. So you can just kind of play this area and poke out their back line, uh, while giving a shield for your team because your team's on cart. So mm -hmm. if you're shielding right here, you're not shielding anybody. Except for yourself. Be careful about doing that. You always you do that a lot. You want you don't want to use you don't want to use your that ability to just gain health. Yeah, that's fair. So when he when you use that, that's a call every time. You always hear that from people. When they when Sigma uses grasp early, they go Sigma no grasp. Let's move in. Right? He uses grasp. He has nothing to, to deny. Mm -hmm. Like if I rock him, whatever, he's not gonna he's not gonna grasp after. So just walk in. So uh, make sure you're not using that kind of like. Okay. You're very lucky you didn't die here. Like right here, I, I don't I don't get the solo plus on you. Um, I think you're using it too early. I think you're you um you're using it too like hastily. You're like you're like trying to I have to get value, I have to get value. Like if you look here, first of all, just poke this dude out. He is so far up right now. Just poke just put your shield up. So throw your shield behind him. So the Baptiste can't heal him, and then just walk but, on yeah. it. Instead of doing this, because they because you won't kill him, right? You won't kill him. They have lamp. You will not kill mm -hmm. him. You will not kill him. Poke him out, force lamp, and then use your ultimate. This ends now. I, like this is so lucky. I'm not, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was very lucky. Yeah, I think the reason why I pushed in there is because John was like, "Keep going in." Yeah, yeah, yeah like, just feed. Yeah. I get that. But that ult was definitely not not for that. I I do just try and like solo the tank all the They're time. Pretty sure you guys will hold them here, right? No, no. I think they roll us. We immediately get headshot. There's only four minutes left. Okay, just get rolled. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just get stomped. Oh, I know right. we imme they, we immediately oh, right, die. Right. Okay, yeah, we talked about angles here. Okay, so let's go over this again. Okay, so first of all, we have some solid angles. Hans is up here. This is great. You're right here. There, you got people back here, and Ling Ling is not in a very good spot. This is not a great angle. I wanted mm -hmm. her to be up here with Sombra, with Hanzo. Just kind of killing, just doing this. Or, if you're going to take an angle like this, like, watch what she has to do. So she does this and has to rotate towards, or rotates towards fire truck. Just start fire truck. Like, just put your thing yeah. right here and just do this. Just poke like this. Instead of poking here, and then you have to rotate back. Also, this was a really bad rotate. You can rotate into here. This is just a really poor routine from her, unfortunately. <laughs> and you lose your Alari really early. I should probably go towards fire truck here. Um, we Before. either so you either have to rotate as a team or commit as a team. So you either have to rotate back early, and you should be called. That should be your call to rotate back. If someone dies. You can either call to rotate, or since this Sigma is in a pretty bad position, you can just you can call for commit and just form him. Because you still you can you can put your shield up here and bash in form him because you still have this Hanzo back here. 
So you mm-hmm. still have this off angle. So you can still win this fight. It's not over. It's a 45, whatever. You can still win. They don't have Pylon right now because Pylon's up here. You know, their, their supports are still walking in. Sigma's very hard, far up. Shield behind him or something or in front of him, whatever. Call for form. You form him. If he, if he grasps, you rock him and you just kill him. Mm-hmm. But instead, we kind of make this very haste, like, very, like, okay, we have to leave, we have to leave. And then John leaves earlier. And he gets poked out and killed. And now you're by yourself. It's just, it's just, it's just poor rotations, poor, poor play, poor, poor positioning. Um, has nothing to do with their skill. It's just because someone was standing in the wrong spot. Should I be playing more right here? What? Sorry. Should I be playing more right, like where I am right now? I should have probably started there. Okay. I think you're giving up some space. You're 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 playing like a little pussy here. Go back up. Yeah. Um. They have Maywall, but I mean, first of all, they fuck Maywall. Second of all, like you have a, a Lari, Bap, Sojourn, and Hanzo. If you get walled. One of those pillars is dying. Is dying immediately, and you will get back. You can just back up into it. Like don't. Mm-hmm. You're 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 playing very bad. Like you're you're backing up way too much, and you're 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 clumping your team up here. Whereas you could be playing a little bit farther up, and kind of just pushing them back. And also, no one's on cart right now. So that's good. You're getting rocked, and then you you, you drop here. Okay. Good. Walk. Yeah. Like right here. You get a pick, walk up. They don't have lamp, walk up. They don't have wall. I'd say you're walking up a little bit too far. Yeah. Um, just hold here. Just hold there. You're still walking up too far. Oh, you get walled. Yeah, I think you die. Yeah, that's on you. You had the position. You had the position right here. They're all dead. They're all low. They have no healers. They're all dead. But unfortunately, Bap is back, and then they lose this fight. They win this fight, I think. I, I think so. John Yeah, yeah that's yeah. very, very. Poor. Yeah, that's my bad. Yeah. It's okay. It happens. I think I so, call for the May here, but nobody shoots, and I think it's probably um, a bad so call. I feel like you're not using your shield very proactively. You kind of throw no, it. No, I'm put kind it of away. just throw it and cancel it. Yeah. Um, one thing you can do here. I think we talked about that. Yeah. A what's little one bit thing later. that you can do here? Do you think? Uh. Probably shield high ground so yep, their ash perfect. doesn't get value. Shield high ground. Not only does their ash not get value, their bat doesn't heal their sigma, so they either have to drop, and now they're in a bad spot, and then you give up high ground for free, get high ground for free, or they don't drop, and you just kill their people right here. Mm-hmm. You know. So Duke dies. Like they, they, these people are not taking any damage right now. They're both their healers are free. And their ash is free. No one is contesting them. That's just free for them. So that's why you're losing. You're not really getting any contests on their like. Uh, maybe your your DPS aren't trying to kill them as much. Like mirror them, shoot them. But you could buy shield there and stop them from getting value. Go, 
And I saw all but yeah, I don't get again. this. Yeah, I don't get this at all. Uh, they have, they have, they have, oh, they have abilities. They have pylon. They have lamp. They have so much for him. Uh, and then they just use three ults on you. Because they don't have to worry about anything like a flux. just throw your ult away there. It doesn't get any value at all. Yeah. Unfortunately. unfortunately. So, um... I think that's everything. That's both maps. Um, do you have any questions? Uh... I don't... I don't think so. I, I think it's mostly about the shield for, like, Sigma. And I just... I... I understand the the height things and like shooting, but like when they start to move away from the shield and peek a different angle, like just beyond my shield, should I like uncast it? So like, if or should I keep it here? up? Yeah, and then they walk. They to drop. The if they right. drop, just get put. Get, then yeah, you can get rid of it. You can but what it. if they? Uh, in so like against the widow. Um, I guess I also have a question about far and how I can if I can't even do anything. It's just my team that has to yeah, then, yeah, take it up. Yeah, okay. Um, but like, so if the ash is pe holding up on there, and I throw my shield up, and is blocking as much as I can close to uh that little like glass thing, uh, and then she starts to walk to her left, do I like, uncast my shield because she's just shooting around the shield, or do I just deny that area even though she can still shoot? If she's up here, yeah. Well, so if I have my the shield, the shield will probably block that whole that whole high ground. Okay. Um, and should I go all the way with the shield, or should I go part part like? Yeah, just do throw I... it all the way up here. Just all the way up. Here. Okay. Yeah, because if you pull it partially, she might be able to get a shot on your back line from like right here. Mm -hmm. Um, just throw it right here, and it's it's not meant to necessarily like block. It's not meant for just purely to block damage. It's just meant to push her to to deny her this space. Like she like if you don't shield her and she's not getting shot, then she just has free reign. Right? But if you okay. shield her and she moves down here or something like that, or she moves over here, or she drops, that's just immediate value for you. Mm -hmm. and, it has, and it's and, and as soon as you see her move, you can just drop it and just throw it out in front of you again. And don't be afraid yeah. to let it break. Don't be okay. afraid to Yeah, like, I always it feel like I just need to cancel right before. Yeah, yeah. you can cancel right before, but just don't be afraid if it breaks. Okay. Shield your conserving shield health is just less. Is just more damage that your team is taking. I mm -hmm. always see that with Ryan. People with, that are playing Ryan and stuff like that, like they're like, "Oh, I had to conserve shield health." I'm like, "Well, if you could, you have 1,700 health for Ryan or on your shield. That's 1,700 damage that your team's not taking. Yeah. And if you hold it, that's 1,700 damage that your team could take. So don't be afraid to just shuck it out." It only has like a four second or five six or five second cooldown if it breaks. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. So you don't have to worry too much about it. Yeah, and you have grasp in that if your shield breaks, right? You're getting pressured. If you're not using it early, you have grasp. So you should be okay. It, it's not. It's not going to be a problem for you. How do I play with the shield and like brawly? Because what I do a lot of the time is I cast it and then like just block like one sigma shot. And then I uncast it afterwards. If you're playing against like a, if you're playing like into the mirror sigma. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. Why seek answers? If I'm playing brawl, right? And I'm like pushing. So say I'm pushing this. Like this is like some kind of choke, and I'm pushing this, right? Okay. Um. There's like two things I can do. If they're farther away. I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna start shielding Barrier and just walking as much as I can and throwing it as much as I can up. Putting it either behind the Sigma or just kind of blocking and just letting my team walk up. That's what I'm doing. So okay, I'm so I shouldn't try and block the Sigma shots. I should try and push it past him. I like, would try very, and... yeah, yeah, I would push it past him. Push okay. it past him. It puts so much pressure on their supports. Like, like, by it makes them move around or it either, so 
So he, if either he backs up and you just get shield value, whatever, he stays here and you just kill Sigma. Or you get Lamp out immediately because you can't heal him. Or the Baptiste pushes up or moves into a bad position where your DPS can kill him on a good angle. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm, say I'm brawling, I'm brawling, I'm brawling. I push up, shield, shield. It's like down to 300. I can put it down, I can grasp. Rock him, push up, again. You know what I mean? Yeah, I gotcha. No, it's Solo like, ult him. No. <laughs> <I'm not bad. laughs> but, I mean, your mechanics with Sigma are good. It's just a lot of position against shield usage and ability mm -hmm. so, you'll, you'll get it at what time. I know Sigma is like a newer character for you, correct? Yeah, I kind of just started playing him towards yeah, so uh, it, like the end time. of like mid middle of last season. Yeah, yeah so it's all of the season you. basically. I think Sigma is like my second best player, so Yeah. I think in general is honestly I I started playing uh again like early August. I've been playing and Overwatch for seven years. So. <laughs> yeah, no, I play I also I played Season one watch on Xbox, but I never got super hooked until this year. Yeah. Any questions, Sasso Sasso? I, so, so, so I can see you're in here if you have a question. No. Okay, I don't know. I'm wondering, I'm trying to help you with your Come on, mommy. Why are you starting, why are you being a why are you being an asshole? Why are you barking, bro? Yeah. I ain't barking. I just no thought you were asking being nice. Seriously. No, I, I don't know. I'm just here to listen. Um, well, anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I'm gonna upload this to my YouTube. I'll send you. I'll send a link in chat, and I'll make sure. I'll ping that everyone has to watch it because it's not just for you. It'll help everyone. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Thanks.